From Newport News, Mr. Yancey. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. I rise for a point of personal privilege. Tell me, proceed. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. Mr. Speaker, members of this body, much has been said on this floor recently about transportation. We have heard about articles and editorials from various journals. Mr. Speaker, I would remind my friends and colleagues that to take a step back for a moment and recall that Virginia's problems are very much like the national problem. And this is not a Republican problem or a Democrat problem. This is an America problem. Our problem in Virginia is indicative of our country's transportation network. Declining streams of revenues means less road construction, less money for maintenance, and few monies to improve our passenger rail network. Barron's Magazine, a weekly financial newspaper, ran an article noting that 2013 could see a gas tax hike in Congress because of the failing revenue streams of the current 18.4 cents per gallon federal tax on fuel. In a 2012 article in The Economist magazine noted that the crux of America's transportation problem is money or rather the lack of it. And it goes on to note that Americans are driving less in cars that use less gas and thus there has been a steady decline in the amount of money set aside for road building and maintenance based on the federal gas tax. The Economist also noted that President Barack Obama's 2012 budget proposed high amounts of transportation funding, but that leaners in his own party warned a new six-year transportation bill would have to trim, I'm sorry, would have to trim annual highway spendings by about a third to keep up with falling tax revenues. Mr. Speaker, there will be no easy, to our, no easy solution to our transportation problems. However, new and innovative ideas such as the one that the governor proposing is a step in the right direction. People are beginning to weigh in on the issue. A recent poll that was released today by Christopher Newport University found that of the people polled, nearly two-thirds, or 63 percent, say they support the governor's plan. The governor's plan is the type of idea that will kickstart other states' funding and facilitate ideas that could ultimately help our nation's transportation network. I would encourage my colleagues to consider this plan as a way for Virginia to solve its transportation problems and to lead the way in solving our nation's transportation problem. Thank you, Mr. Speaker.